Welcome to the channel. On this episode, we leave Skukuzara's camp, enjoy the beautiful bush sounds and the bird's morning chorus. We find two honey badgers near Savi River and more lions at Maziti Dam and Satar. So yeah, we are here at the gate, it's 10 minutes to 6, the gate's open at 6, so we are here who's we are leaving to Saltara for 3 more nights. We had a fantastic game drive last night, we saw a leopard on a night drive, which was awesome. There's a couple of cars in front of us. Yeah, like 22, 20 minutes before the gate opens. Oh, we we'll record it's honey badgers. There's two of them. They are there further in. The light is also harsh. This sounds eh? So we just park off here this water hole. Um, just want to capture, take in the bush sounds. A lot of birds calling are here. Looks like foxtail triangle. Doves. Hornbills. A lot of stallings. So many beautiful sounds.
you see how tall this bed is. So we are here to go and just order. This is a good horse, and then that's good horse, and then buffalo pie, and a ginger beer. So I heard a lot of people talking about the uh, the kudu horse and the buffalo pie. I just want to give them a go today, <coughs> and then yeah, see how it goes. Chokwani picnic spot. It's quite empty. No monkeys yet. So we are leaving uh, Chokwani and then we met someone who is coming from Satar. Uh, they told us that there's a, there are lions lying around not far from the road. <coughs> uh, maybe four kilometers away from here. So we're just driving up there and see what we can see. Uh, the, um, the food was nice, but not as nice as it was the other day. We were here last time with uh, our son. He enjoyed the meal. Actually, the last time we were here, we were with him in March. So, yeah, it was not as nice as it was the, from the previous days. I don't know. Basically because it's missing, it's not there. Yep. Let's go and see the lions. So we are driving here. Just left Chokwan and then got the first sighting of Southern Grand Hornbills for the trip. We are on day four now. We haven't seen them at all. We always see them almost daily. But this time Things are different. That's the cup. So we are here at my Haziti Dam. There's a proud of lions there. See, they are lying down on that bush. It's not clearly visible. There was a cup that was up just now. Uh, she went down and when it arrived there was a big meal it was up they will probably get up and move the shade is a bit too small for all of them see there's the cup Yeah, that's a male lion there. Yeah, this is probably the lions that we missed yesterday. <coughs> Who that killed the same area Maziti them? They killed the a buffalo.
It's a beautiful big meal lion here. Yeah. It's beautiful. So there's a cheetah there, you can see the head is moving a bit, the cheetah is very far, now it went down, yeah now the cheetah is a bit visible, but very far, eh? just found the right spot now, but you, This is the best view we can get. The cheetah is very far. And it looks like it's in the right shade there. So this is a tree, a gamma. Yeah. On our campsite. I'm about to set up camp, you see? I'm about to set up camp, we just arrived. That's the instant tent. And the P-series. So, I'm about to set up camp and then this guy is here. So we arrived here at Satara and <clears throat> we found a campsite. Yeah, not the best in terms of shade. Um, at the moment, most campsites here in Satara they don't have shade because uh, most trees actually lost their leaves, like your knob thorns. They, they, at the moment, they don't have a lot of leaves. Uh, the marula trees, even the one I'm passing here, you can see has no leaves at all. Just new shoots of leaves there's a report that there is two lionesses with uh, about 12 cups so i'm heading to s100 to follow up on that and yeah quickly it's about 12 o'clock exactly and then hopefully i'll make a turn at guzano water hole guzani dam
there's something I'm noticing <coughs> on the S100. Obviously, this tree was pushed over, I assume, by elephants. But look what they did. They cut it down not to block the view. And even those small bushes there, you can see the one in the middle of the screen, it is cut down. Even the one further back, they want to provide as much view as you can. They can, you can get to the bush, even on the other side, you can see the, those bushes have been trimmed. So they are doing a very good job to make sure that this river is accessible. So it's like this all the way. So I show you this one as well here. See, it has been trimmed to provide a good view to the river. So yeah, there is more view than it used to be to view the river. Even this one next to me here, you see. Yeah, you see here. This bush has been trimmed. So yeah, this is a good thing. I've noticed all the way. All the viewpoints, they are all like this. They are going to drink. There are some on the other side of the road, but they are just being too careful, cautious. One female jumped the road, crossed the road, and then left these two boys with uh, the other two boys, actually four, and then two crossed and two remain at the back to watch. And this film side so they're being cautious they're definitely going to drink Still here on S100. Um, I'm on my way to camp now. Yeah, it seems like there's no sign of those lions. Yeah, the bush is still way too. Th the plan is to go back to camp and relax, maybe hit a shower or go to the pool and then yeah, I'll wait for the sunset camp drive. I'm abutting the mission of heading towards Guzan Dam. Yeah, I think I did about maybe 8 kilometers of the S100. I took it me a bit of an hour, so I'm starting very slow. I was driving 10 kilometers per hour at some point. It was very nice. I enjoyed driving here. As much as I didn't see any predators, but you know what? I'm very much happy with the experience. This is the browser some on this side. A lot of uh, planes game, general game. Um, so it's a male steering box. You can see over the genitals. And the male has horns, the female does not have horns. These are solitary. But within this range, you find out there is a female. Sometimes at night you can see them together actually. But they are known to come together when it's time for mating. It's 
lying out in the open. So it looks like a young male. It's very far. There's a big stand of here between this lion and these zebras. They are even on the line watching him. This is turning out to be an interesting sighting. Eh? So we are here at uh, Grivan Water Hall. So Grivan in song it's a Tonga word means 
will borrow. I'm not sure if this was named after someone with the name Kiriwari. Lying on the road, Kaina cubs, hyenas are my favorite animals. Favorite predator, very patient, misunderstood, resilient. So, I would like to know what other people's favorite animals are. These fair balls. No, there's no meat, boys. There's no meat. It's Damana Mataya. They chew on the tires. So be careful. Then they can put the, they can punch the tire. When they do this, you shouldn't let them do it. See, they want going there. We arrived in camp and enjoyed the beautiful sunset colors over the campsite. So yeah, we have the fire going on. Uh, just got here in camp right up just before the camp closes, maybe one minute before six. At the moment the camp gate closes at six. So yeah, it was an interesting drive, so we just wanna fry. Just gonna have some pork chops, steak and a little bit of horse. And then yeah, we're gonna have that with pap as well. So just waiting for the fire to be ready. And then yeah, we'll put the meat soon. Here are some of the images I took on this day. Enjoy. watching please join us on the next episode as we continue on our journey at kruger national park satara rest camp 
If you like the content I post here, please help me grow the channel by hitting the subscribe button, like and share the video. Thank you.